Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Fioletta, content strategist for Retail Touchpoints, and I have joining me right now on Mandelson, who's the co-founder and CEO of Marketize. On, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, we're, we're kicking off the first full day of Insight 2015 for Evionix, and we heard a lot this morning about the connected, empowered consumer, how they're not shopping here and there, they're shopping all the time across all channels. So based on your knowledge and your experience in the industry, how is this impacting retailers and more specifically, their pricing and promotion strategies? Well, that's a great question because we've looked today and we had the presentation and some data that was shared by Forrester and we could have seen that there are a lot of shifts and a lot of things that are going on right now in the market. And what we're seeing from our perspective and looking at, you know, the competitive landscape and how retailers are reacting to that. So we've seen some interesting shifts and changes recently. Um, the whole marketplace approach where you can see that suddenly these marketplaces popped up and they're trying to kind of like follow up the Amazon module where you see Walmart suddenly selling uh, uh, third-party sellers on their website, Best Buy, Sears, and others that are doing that. So um, the way we see it is, is part of that reaction to the fact that not only from a assortment standpoint, but from a price standpoint also. So you can pretty much get all that into one place, and that's what we're seeing that a lot of these re large retailers have been focusing and doing on these uh, uh, several uh, uh, few months. There, there's been a increase in retailers trying to simply price match and um, you know try to keep pace from that perspective. Um, but I can't help but wonder that there's almost missed opportunities happening. That there's um, there's an, an opportunity to combine art and science to create more actionable and intelligent decisions when it comes to pricing. I mean, what are, what are your thoughts from that perspective? Where do you see the retail marketplace shifting to? Um, you know, fr from that. That perspective. Yeah, so so obviously price match is kind of like I'd say it, it's a bit of a, a, a panicking approach. Mm -hmm. So you know, just uh, it, it might have it's a psychological effect, but at the end of the day, we're seeing that anybody that comes to adopt that it doesn't necessarily end up with success. It just creates more strain on margins. Um, the challenges are actually not to. Uh, uh, reduce the margins, but actually to find the opportunities within those margins and to see where we can increase that and where we can find that. So we're talking a lot today about um, in, in our sessions about you know how to price towards the consumer, and the idea is where to actually find these opportunities and where we can meet um, the consumer at the relevant junctions and spaces and provide them with the best price. And that's pretty much the major challenges that we're we're seeing today, and we're trying to uh, uh, fulfill for our for our retailers. Great. And to that end, obviously, you're at the show as a Revionix partner. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how not only how the partnership came about, but also the value that both party, parties are bringing together um, to the retail industry overall? Sure. So, so we all know that you know Revionix provide uh, optimization around different solutions, and they have some wonderful solutions. A lot of their solutions are focused internally. So they look at a lot of what's happening inside the retailer side. Where um, what we bring in is we bring in the approach of looking at what's happening outside and looking at gaining that additional visibility and combining the two. So we take the market information, all the market data, and things that are happening in the events, combining in with the events that are happening on the retailer end. And when we put these two together, you get a much fuller picture that you can react to in a better way. And that's where the value is of our uh, two solutions combined. Oh, that's wonderful. So since you have this full view of the retail industry and obviously the trends and the tactics that they're implementing, as we start looking to the holiday season, of course, and uh, 2016, um, do you have any final tips or recommendations for retailers as they strive to you know, increase margins and get right. more value out of their pricing strategies? Right, so it can be very, you know, it can be very comp comprehensive and there are a lot of things that you can do out there, but overall I think that the best practices would be look small, look granular, don't necessarily try to look at big pictures and do major changes at once and a lot of reactions. Look at where you might be leaving money on the table. Look at where you can do these small improvements. These small improvements during the holiday season can have a big impact basically. So focus on these instead of now focusing on the larger and the big pictures, look at the smaller chunks and segment it properly and focus on the relevant segments that uh, are uh, uh, most profitable to you. You know, since we're at Insight, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about um, what you found so so valuable about the show. Because I mean, th there's a, a great variety of content and a great variety of different retail executives and experts in the space here. So, what, what do you what do you find most valuable um, ab about the show? So, uh, for me, what's valuable about the show is that you can meet the people in person. You know, we read a lot of these researches, whether it's Forrester, we read a lot of case studies. 
Um, but you know, once you come here and you network and you're able to meet the people in person, talk a little more in depth, bring out questions, hear best practices from different parties, and share these and do these, you know, face-to-face -face brainstorming. That's you know a great benefit to us, and that's what you know I see here. That's been great so far. It's a lively environment. Everyone's excited to learn and, and share their stories. So it's definitely going to be a great show. Definitely. I agree. Well, on, thank you so much again for taking the time out and sharing your insights, your best practices, um, and of course, recommendations for retailers as they go into the new year. So sure, I, I appreciate you um, taking the time out to speak with me today. Thank you. And uh, thanks everyone out there for watching. Thank you.